Hello, Bishop Walsh here. It's Wednesday, February 22nd, Ash Wednesday. I have this image that's here that was a gift given to me by my goddaughter, Kara Salmon, many years ago. She's a talented artist, and I always take it out during the season of Lent. It's a, a powerful reminder of the season uh, to remind us of our Lord's passion. And as we know, it culminates during Holy Week when we have a particular focus on how the Lord gave his saving sacrifice. But a number of announcements for this week, and I'll get to uh, the experience of Lent in just a moment, but I just want to share that uh, sadly we had to cancel our Lenten Day of Reflection for our priests and directors of uh, parish life tomorrow because of the anticipated winter storm. And just to share with you also, last week when I mentioned I was going to go to Oklahoma City for the dedication of the Shrine of Blessed Stanley Rother, Old Man Winter got in my way for uh, accomplishing that task. Uh, I had my flight canceled out of Traverse City in the morning uh, into Chicago because of weather, and then I rearranged. I drove down to Grand Rapids to uh, the Ford Airport, and there also was foiled, waiting several hours with one delay after another uh, because of the weather. I was gonna go to Dallas and then try to get into Oklahoma City in time for the ceremony. But uh, I got to a point where I, I knew I would miss my connecting flight and it just wasn't gonna happen. I cried uncle and I went home in a, a, a snowstorm. <laughs> but I'm learning uh, how to tackle these Northern winter uh, roads with the, the snowy weather and thank God I got home okay it was a frustrating day but I did go uh, the next morning and watched it on the live stream and I hope you had an opportunity to see it as well a very inspirational story of blessed Stanley Rother I enjoyed um, a happy occasion out in the snow although it wasn't too much of it with Curtis Chambers this past week we walked 10 miles from uh, apart just 10 miles outside of Petoskey on the North Country Trail. And Curtis has been doing that for 11 years, all different places that have been on the, the journey of what Bishop Barriga wrote in his diary. And it's a way that Curtis has been um, connecting to Bishop Barriga and asking people to pray for his cause of canonization. So we continue to do that. And I want to thank Kurt once again for the chance to accompany him on that walk. It is Ash Wednesday, a very important kickoff, as we know, that the church provides for us a day that we just focus on what is going to be a 40-day penitential season. And we set our heart on prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, and let them unfold in ways that God can help us grow deeper in love with him and with each other. Uh, it may seem like uh, a dour or experience, something that uh, hampers us or weighs us down. It's not meant to be that way. And remember what the Lord said in the scriptures, that when we do these <clears throat> acts of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, that we should do it in a way that is pleasing to him and that contributes to the good of others. So it, that truly then enhances us as well. So it's 40 days. Uh, one of the editions of this Lenten season on our website will be a Monday video that I'm going to do on part of the Eucharistic revival. I'm going to take each of our last six popes and provide some insight that they gave on the Eucharist and also tie in some teaching of the Catech Universal Catechism uh, that will help us understand the Eucharist and appreciate it and love Jesus all the more in the Eucharist. So tune in on Mondays. It's going to be for 10 minutes um, for the season of Lent. I'm looking forward to going to Traverse City this Saturday for an event, a brunch with women at St. Francis Church, uh, reflecting on vocations and the Mass at St. Francis, and then going to the play at the high school. I think it's Cinderella. Looking forward to supporting our young people and seeing their talents on the stage. Uh, the Holy Hour and a Half was the first one we had in Hillman was a wonderful success and a beautiful opportunity to pray together with the community there in the Eastern Vicariate. This Sunday, it's at the cathedral, and I'm also very excited uh, to be able to have the rite of election. It'll be my second rite of election. The first one was, uh, I think, only two days after I was ordained here, um, and uh, or the yeah three or four days after I was ordained. 
Now I'm really excited. I think we have over 100 candidates and catechumens from all of our different parishes who will be at the cathedral this Sunday. Um, and lastly, we are anticipating welcoming at least four Nicaraguans to the Diocese of Gaylord. More details about that to come. Please continue to pray for Bishop Alvarez and all the people of our sister diocese of Matagalpa. Thank you for checking in and a blessed Lent to you.